So this Christmas is a, a bit different to what we normally do. Uh, I think for a lot of people as well, there's been maybe a bit of a rush to get some of the visits in before we enter this next stage of a lockdown. It's been a, an odd kind of a Christmas. There are certain things that always remain the same, which is great. Uh, Mom's cooking, uh, Christmas movies, certain things like that. I remember uh, one, of, one, one Christmas movie, which I, I never liked at all, I never really got the point of, uh, was Pinocchio. Well, it's not really a Christmas movie, but it, it's often shown during the Christmas uh, season. I never really liked it, actually. Uh, there was a whole series about Pinocchio when I was a kid. And um, just this child who would constantly tell lies drove me crazy. He, he, like, the author, uh, the uh, Italian author, Carlo Collodi, back in the day, it was, it was written back in the end of the 19th century, uh, he, 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 made the, he made Pinocchio far worse far, far worse than the movies actually show. That Disney movie made him kind of famous in 1940, which incidentally is 80 years ago. So I always think 19, remember Italia 90? Yeah, that was 30 years ago, lads, 30 years ago. <laughs> right, okay, it feels like about you know, 15, 20 years ago. It's 30 years ago, Italia 90 was 30 years ago. Okay, so Pinocchio. And, but I was just reading something about Pinocchio, which it just got me, got me thinking, right? Geppetto, this carpenter, makes Pinocchio, and he's made out of some enchanted kind of a tree type thing, so he turns to life. But he wants to be a real boy. Right? Pinocchio wants to be a real boy, but Pinocchio can never be a real boy. Why? Because he's wood. He's made of wood. And Giuseppe wants a son, but like, Pinocchio can never be his son. Even though G Geppetto makes him, they're completely different, right? Geppetto is a human being, a carpenter, and uh, Pinocchio is a puppet. So no matter how much Pinocchio wants to be a boy, it ain't never going to happen, because it's just not possible. And no matter how much Geppetto might want a son, it can't happen again, because they're different species, right? So it's just, it's not going to happen. It's, it's impossible, okay? But anyway, through uh, different uh, enchantments and so on and so forth, uh, after his tale of woe, Pinocchio, as such, converts, if you will, stops lying and through a fairy godmother type character, actually becomes a real boy. And this whole story got me thinking of how God creates each one of us, right? He, and he, I, was, I just went for a little drive in the forest today. And uh, so I pulled up the, the quad and uh, I was there with my dog and uh, I was just looking around and it was just absolutely, stunningly, Beautiful. I mean, if you're outside today at all, like it was, it was bright blue sky, and just the, the sights, sounds, and smells there in the forest, and uh, just the, the, the smell of pine and, and a, a gentle breeze. It was just absolutely magnificent. I just sat there uh, for, for for ages. It was beautiful. And I just got this, this feeling like that God the Father has created this as a gift for us. All that exists is created as a gift, a gift. Because God is trying to win your heart. Okay, so God has created this beautiful world as a gift for us. And he creates us in that world. Okay? But kind of like the whole Pinocchio story. Uh, we could never, we say like we were adopted sons and daughters of God. But we could never actually really become sons and daughters of God, could we? Because we're a completely different species, right? God is divine. God is God, right? Doesn't even have God as Father, doesn't have a human body, right? He's a completely different species to us. So it's as realistic or as possible for Pinocchio to become a boy as it is for us to become adopted children of God. It's just, it's simply not possible, right? Wrong. For all, for God, all things are possible for God. And, and, and how, 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 how can this be? How could this be possible that we would become adopted sons and daughters of God? I mean, God's children. Like that's that's that shouldn't that shouldn't be possible. It's it's it should be more realistic or possible for my dog Scooby to become my son than me to become a son of God. Because we're, we're my, me and my dog, we're closer. That's no reference to me now, uh, but that's a reference to how smart he is. We're we're closer in nature than human nature is to divine nature. Right? Because God, divine nature is so beyond, so above anything we could ever imagine. We're actually closer to, to animals than we are to God. So this, is, this should not be possible. 
So how, how can it be then that we say all the time, uh, in virtue of baptism, that we become adopted children of God, sons and daughters of God? It all starts here. The Lord becomes man. So the incarnation is the 25th of March. That God becoming man becomes visible tonight. And Jesus takes on a human nature. He takes on a human nature so that he can die in it. Jesus becomes man so that he can die on a cross. And that's, that's the heart of Christmas. He doesn't become man so that we have an excuse to eat turkey and give presents. But he becomes man so he can take on a human nature and bridge that insurmountable, impossible gap between human nature and divine nature. And he does so by dying on the cross. And then we walk from our fallen human nature across his shoulders as he hangs upon the cross to God, to heaven. St. Irenaeus, uh, an absolutely astounding saint from the second century, he was born in, in, in the year 130. He said, God became man so that man can become God. God became man so that man can become God. God became one of us so that we can become like him, that we can actually share in God's own nature. I mean, I, I, I love saying that, and as often as I say it, I always finish it by saying, I have no idea what that means. Because I don't. To share God's nature, I have, I have no idea what that really means. To be like God. To, 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 to share, to share he- when we're in heaven, we're not just kind of sharing a place with God. We're sharing in his own nature. We're becoming like God. That's why what we do here on earth is so important. Because we begin that whole process now by the choices I make. When I choose to love, when I choose to forgive, when I choose to be merciful, I'm choosing to actually be like God. God and if I can be trusted with the small things that I have here then I can be trusted with heaven I can be trusted with being more like God I can be trusted with divine power Pinocchio wants to be a real boy he wants to be a real boy but he goes about it the wrong way he wants to be free but he goes about he runs away from home so he abuses his freedom and he has this desire, which is, isn't the worst desire. I want to be a real boy. I want to make a difference. I want to be real. I want to smell things, taste things, just like real kids do. Okay, not, not the worst idea, not the worst plan. But he goes about it the wrong way, disrespecting Geppetto, lying constantly. And at the end of the story, we know, we know how, how it, it ends. It all ends. It's Disney, so it ends well. All right, he becomes, he becomes a boy in the end. But it's, it kinda, again, it kind of reminds me of us, how we want to be powerful. You know, we want to have a certain amount of power. I want to have a certain amount of kind of influence. I want to be thanked. I want to be recognized. I want to be loved. The root of most sin that people commit. I want to be loved. But we go about it in the wrong way. When we go about it in the wrong way, then we find ourselves off in the circus. Like Pinocchio. Incidentally, when he lies, his nose gets longer. You might have heard that. Italians still do that now. If you're ever, ever in Italy, and uh, if you want to kind of give the impression that you're rich or something, they go, hey, 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 they look at you, which means that you're lying. That's, that's what that means, by the way. So if you're ever in Italy, and, the, and you say something, and they go, hey, hey, it means they're calling you a liar. All right, okay. So, uh, so how eventually does he get rid of this nose that has, growing pro- that has grown progressively longer? Woodpeckers have to peck it off. All right? So it's kind of a painful process for poor little Pinocchio. So how do we rid ourselves of these things that stop us from being like God? How do we cut those ties, break those chains, with what holds us back, stops us from soaring to the heights of heaven? It's called conversion, which often requires pruning, which often requires a bit of pain. But the goal of all of this is so that we can become like God, that we can share heaven with God forever. Nothing... There's no, no loftier goal, no more important task than we have here on earth. And to become like God. This, this, whole, this whole Christmas scene is just, it, it, the mystery that, that's made visible here is so profound. Way more than just a national holiday. This is God trying to win your heart. He has created you 
and he wants you to be his child. He wants you to do so by choosing to love him, by choosing to follow him, by choosing to give him time, by choosing to modify, prune the things out of your life that aren't good, that aren't from him. He wants you to put him in the first place, the first place, because the day will come when we will see our creator face to face. And he who has fashioned us, he who has formed us, he who has provided for us in this beautiful world that we have, he who has taken care of us in so many ways, will ask us one simple question. Do you love me? And there's no phone a friend option. There's no spin the wheel. It's just the truth. There he is. Do you love me? Hopefully by that stage we'll not only love him, we'll, we'll know him. Not just believe he exists, but we'll actually know him. That's the goal of our lives. And that becomes apparent on this Christmas night. So as the different guests arrive in our crib, we have our shepherds, our angels have done a bit of preparation work to make sure the shepherds found the place. The... Uh, Kings are on their way, lads. They'll be here any day. God willing, we will be included in this diverse crowd of guests that come to meet the Lord. There's room for you and I. The Lord became man so that man can become God. And so we ask the good Lord tonight now to bless each one of us with a renewed faith to strengthen our knowledge that nothing matters but our relationship with him and becoming like him and sharing heaven with him for all eternity. We pray that we may join in the words of our psalmist, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Amen.